All right, hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a heavenly glow effect inside Premiere Pro. All right, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and, and I am currently using all panels uh, workspace here. So to do that, just hover your mouse at the top, click on all panels, or you can go to window at the top, click on workspace and click on all panels. By doing that, now you will see on this, we are on the same workspace and we, have, uh, we are in the uh, same workflow uh, that you can follow. I already have a sequence here we have a deer and a baby all right now if you want to know how to create a sequence just go here in the assets folder go to the photo and then you can just drag and drop it here or right click on it and then once you right click on that click on a new sequence from clip it will automatically create uh, a sequence for you all right so in this case I have two clips in here that I will be adding the uh, the heavenly glow effect all right, so all we have to do is to duplicate this um, this clip, all right? So I can uh, right uh, I can select this two clip, right click, and then I can copy it and then paste it on top of uh, top of each other. But to make sure before you do that, make sure your V two is selected, all right? And then unselect the uh, V one, and then you choose Command V, and then you will be selecting that one uh, that way, all right? So it's the year and the baby, all right? So or you can just simply hold down the command uh, once you select this. Or you can just simply hold down the option key on your keyboard and then just drag and drop it here on the on the uh, on the second timeline. All right. So in this case, I'm gonna undo it. All right. Command C. Okay. Now now we have these uh, uh, two clips stuck in uh, stuck on each other. All right. What, uh, the next thing that we need to do is we're going to add uh, an effect on the uh, on, uh, on these videos at the top. All right. So to do that, let's go to the effects uh, search here. Let's search for uh, gush and blur. So B L U R for blur, and then we can search for under video effects. Under video effects, blur and sharpen, we have the gush and blur here. So we are going to add this effect both in our. Um, uh top video all right i'm gonna add it to to the uh, first video now we have the gush and blur at the top all right two now to change those properties we need to click on this and then we go to effects control and scroll down and look for gush and blur as you can see it's already here all right so all we have to do is to change the blurriness to all right to around uh 200 let's try that or 700 700 let's enter all right there's a blur effect in here and then for the blend mode under opacity uh 100 so we can change this blend mode to uh to screen all right all right there you go and then you can also uh do it uh, also here all right so let's go to blend mode which is screen and then for gaussian blur let's try to put it on uh, 200 let's try that all right there you go all right, let's try to change it to around 202 for the blurriness, 200. Okay, now once we play this, all right, then you will see those um, effect on the, uh, like a uh, heavenly glow effect on the video. All right, now you can change those uh, settings, you know, if you want to put some opacity here. All right, so let's try to um, make it a little bit larger. All right. Okay, for the opacity, let's try to create a keyframe for this. Let's create a keyframe for that. And then once we go here, let's try to remove the opacity to around 18%. All right. And then we can go here and bump it again for around uh, uh, around 60. All right. It really depends on you. You can play with that. So you can see it's go fading and then go fade again. There you have it. You can also do it like that uh, on the uh, second frame. You can go to opacity, you can create a keyframe here, uh, make sure there's a keyframe that you attach in here. And then you uh, scroll to wherever you want to put in, then you can change the opacity to around 25, 34, 50, it depends on you. And then once you play with that, it's um, giving you the heavenly glow, it fades in, it fades out, and there you have it. All right, so let's try to play it in the uh, large screen. All right, so that's how you add a heavenly glow effect inside Premiere Pro. All right, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.